Hello! It's 2022. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? And every now and then you come across a writer that really gets stuck in your brain and messes with it. Joshua Marcella is one of them. Uh, Hunger for Death. He, the author sent me this on in exchange for a good review. And um, I was not disappointed. I've read the guy's other work. And he's genuinely a very interesting horror writer that packs a punch. And it's nice to find a voice like this. There aren't many. There, there genuinely aren't many. So, what is Hunger for Death? What is it? First things first. A mother is willing to sacrifice it all to save her unborn child. A pair of fishermen reel in a catch they soon regret. And a mysterious puzzle holds an ancient secret. And ten more wicked tales of the macabre from the remarkable and disturbed mind of Joshua Marshall. I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> that statement is not wrong. And I, I, to be blunt about it, this is an intelligent and tactful novel, well, horror collection, I'll put it that way, that just, oh my god, I want to get inside this guy's brain. Like, where the hell does he come up with this? <laughs> Like, it's very rare for a not a horror novel to genuinely scare me, but this scared me. This this kept me reading. I was like, what the hell happens next? And like all short story collections, there's going to be some that you love and some that you hate. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's the nature of a story collection. And most of these I loved. A few didn't quite gel with me, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the nature of the beast. And... um I mean, this guy is is a very intelligent uh, novel writer. He's very intelligent with the stories, and I mean, he's fascinating. Follow him on Twitter, by the way, just just to say that. And it's nice to see that the what's the phrase I'm looking for? It's nice to see a horror writer who's willing to go there, who is willing to open those doors, and to willingly keep you going. I mean, there's been a couple. Deep Aria is one of them. He's he's a phenomenal writer. And he also has that same kind of macabre darkness flowing through him that Joshua has. And now and then, it it's just a rare find. So many horror writers tend to stick to the same tropes, or their novels just aren't scary. That's what I find interesting as as any writer actually any writer out there that i've read especially in the horror side of things horror can work for me or not work for me and this guy works for me it's unusual to find such intelligence such depth and such strong writing it's the nature of this and it's beautiful it's creepy it's beautiful it keeps you on edge and his first novel was also the same. Um, I'm going to put a link to both his books in the bio because I think, I think to be blunt about it, it's hard for indie writers. I, it's hard to make people care about your work as an indie writer and you have to be very good at marketing and you have to be very good at pushing yourself. And there's a lot of people that will just use you for a free book and then ghost you, which I think is absolutely disgusting. This book is good. This book is dark. This book will keep you on edge and keep you reading. You will go through these short stories. And I ended up reading through it like three or four times. Just there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of... There's a little bit of horror for everyone. <laughs> and like I said, I want to get inside this guy's brain because... Like, I, it's very rare that I hear a writer like Joshua and just... Thank you for letting me read your book. And I cannot wait to um, go further in. And I'm looking forward to more from you. And that's a very rare thing that I say.